this son of a bitch and fucking uh, probably and I don't know what that is there. B probably B. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, we pick up where we left off in the last one. Tuan is out cutting some of this absolutely crazy alfalfa here. Uh, unreal heavy crop. Rob described it as holy shit. <laughs> Hands down the best stuff we've ever cut. He's gonna go down and check the basement out, he says. Slow, chew it up. Getting a couple. You're grabbing right on the edge too, where it's. Yeah. There, look how fucking mangled that one is. Oh, yeah. A little better. Up yeah. Good. He was pointing over here. Well, it's a little ways back. I'll. He's pointing out the window at something, and I looked over and I seen what it was. I thought his tires looked a little damp there when we pulled up. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be why. Ah, moist. Just a little bit damp. In a little. A little sploogy. Mm, foxtail early. Goddamn foxtails anyway. But. That's probably where I'm going to leave you guys for right now again. Until I have something else to video for you. Because it's. About the end of the day, he's gonna be out here for a couple days cutting. Like, we're probably just gonna cut, cut, cut till we're all done, what we have to cut. Cause I've got my hay fields at home and then we're gonna have some green oats and what have you. So it looks like we got a real good forecast coming. So we're gonna knock one hell of a chunk down and then uh, we'll have uh, a good couple days worth of baling that way once things are ready. So anyway. Show you how tall this stuff is. Standing in it here. Oh, dink high. Up up to my hip anyway. <laughs> so that's and thick. Like look at this elf alpha. Pretty damn good crop. So anyway. We will uh, talk at you here in a bit. Checking car. 
Oh, it hurts the ears. <laughs> Just out here checking the uh, soybeans. Things are looking pretty damn good. Nice big plants already. Oh yeah, there's flowers starting on this yeah, one, little purple flowers, so. We're in a, not a great part of the field here. There's a big saline spot there. I mean, it's a little thinner here along the hill, but should be good, I hope. <laughs> well, we're at Grandpa Henry's here and I hooked the 4440 to the 1682. I went and unhooked them this morning from the baler. Just because the 46 has the uh, special hits, uh, hitch on it for cutting hay and well obviously we're cutting hay right now. Uh, draw bar on him isn't heavy enough to hold it up. It'll bend it. We tried before. Uh, so... 44 is hooked on here I'm gonna bring it home because I got a bunch of work I want to do to it to get them ready for this year uh, Hooked the 10 on the auger moved it Did have it kind of running, but it kept dying on me. It's not pulling gas from the tank I don't know if the fuel pump dried up on it or what but So I just encouraged it with a chain and moved it to there so I can fuck around with it not in the grass And that way we could cut everything that needs cutting we're doing some here we haven't done before in Grandpa's old corrals. Try and shave some of the grass down and then uh, we've got some bins coming that I'm gonna be putting here. So get all the grass cleaned up and then it's a lot easier to smooth this out with Frank, the big bulldozer there. So we're just gonna trim up all that brome grass and then it'll do a nicer job that way when the time comes, but anyway. Uh, Twan's been cutting all morning with the hay bine there. There's a big patch over there and then around the bin yard and around the quan set and Now this and now there's the old hay yard to do. I'm gonna walk ahead of them out there cuz We've never cut it before and there's a bit of junk out there that I know of so I'm gonna walk ahead So it doesn't get hay bind and then we can clean the junk up that way And yeah, that's the plan. So we will talk to you here in a bit. We can just unplug the reel here. Some real thick slew, hey? I'm gonna put it right down because it's real wet in the bottom, is what's done it. It's kind of cut in. It's real soft. And uh, it just kind of nosed in, got a mouthful of dirt. So, anyway, it's a fairly big square here, so it's going to take a little while to cut. I'm just walking ahead and picking up any junk that I can find so it doesn't end up wrecking something on the hay bind. But other than that, that's what's going on, so we'll talk at you in a few. Alrighty then, good enough, as Ryan would say. Woo! <laughs> Alrighty, made her home with that. I'm just working on servicing it. I gotta do an oil change on it now and a couple other things before it goes back bailing again, but that's another story. Some of you guys are asking about this, why it was here again. That's the 4520 dad done clutches in here this winter. And a uh, guy used it for a little while on his bale shredder. And the PTO was back to not wanting to shut off. So when we took it apart, if you remember that pressure plate was broke. Well, he wanted to do it real cheap. So dad just welded it and worked for a while, but then it broke the weld right out of it. So dad spent the last two months trying to find one at a wrecker because it was over $5,000 for one from John Deere. Finally found one and uh, 
Well, I just got it back together last night, so. You're gonna work this time? Gonna work. Good. I'll do the box. I can, yeah. Back up. Okay. Gonna get the blocks out from under the tires. This tractor is for sale if anybody's wondering. Now that it's got uh, $6,000 worth of work done to the uh, clutch and the PTO clutch and a new uh, refurbished pressure plate and quite a bit of other stuff too. Really good heater in it. <laughs> But we're, Dad was kind of, we're really hoping that he was going to be able to find parts for it because the guy pulls his hay rake with it, so. Luckily we found one at a wrecker for him though, that, so that was pretty good and it wasn't even all that far away and they even shipped it to us, so. But, let all the smoke clear out of there now. I'll talk to you in a few get another clip of it because why not seeing as how it's going away kind of a sweet old unit it'd be a real good fit on your farm there Ryan straight pipe acres Put her through her paces and see if anything wants to leak. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm gonna go have supper and we'll see what else we can find to do. Well, it's the next day here. We're cutting one of the back roads here that we gotta go down anyways to get back home again from Grandpa Henry's and well, my uh, great uncle's over there. We cut as well, there's a pretty good patch of hay, but there's uh, real good big spots of grass on this road where the road curves and we got 20 bales here last year on worth the, out of, out of uh, five miles worth of cutting, so. There's real good heavy sloth. So, well worth it, we're driving by anyways, so. But I was just looking at the neighbors there, a couple of my buddies there, brothers that have uh, bins for sale. Coming up with a plan on how to move them now, so made a deal with them there for uh, three bins and I'm gonna redo their tractor for them this winter, 4440, so. Mm, pretty good deal for all parties involved, I think, so. Anyway, Juan's gonna finish cutting this. I'm gonna head home and make some chop, but that's uh, enough for this video, so probably where I'm gonna end it. So, I guess. Thank you much for watching. So you hit that like button and comment. Subscribe for more. We'll talk to all you guys in the next one.